Welcome to the University of Minnesota Genetic Counseling Program. Our mission is to provide outstanding education in genetics healthcare and research. We're focused on creating knowledgeable, interpersonally skilled healthcare professionals. Our program was established in 1989 and since that time has almost three decades of continuous accreditation. We're fortunate to teach in one of the best states for healthcare and employ one of the highest concentrations of genetic counselors per capita in the country. And as a fun fact, the term genetic counseling originated at the University of Minnesota. Now let me introduce you to Jerry, Tom, and Cheyenne, who will answer questions about applying to graduate school and what it's actually like to be here as a student. I think the best advice is to just really know the genetic counseling profession um, in and out. Uh, there's a lot that goes into the career, um, all the different specialties, the, the lab side and the clinic side. Um, and I would really just see, have you know uh, what part of the career that you really want to, to find yourself in and see how you fit into the career. And I think that's the best way of showing that you're ready for um, admittance into a program. I think there are a few different reasons I applied. Um, one, I think there was a really great balance between that science and the more psychology or psychosocial um, pieces of the curriculum. That was something that I knew coming in from a background of um, more hard science that I needed more of a balance that included those psychosocial pieces and I was really excited to work with the professors and instructors who had written the textbooks on that material and really understanding the, the techniques and methodology in genetic counseling. I wasn't used to interviewing with so many people so you jump from one person to the next and you have to kind of sell yourself, so to speak. I think overall we're super supportive of each other. We're also fun, so when we have to be serious, we're serious, we're focused, we're on task, but we also have the element of being a family and enjoying each other, supporting each other. All of it was just so much more than I anticipated, I guess, um, both in the material that I could learn, but also not just kind of curriculum-based material, but awareness of myself and of other people and the real human aspect of genetic counseling and a health profession, um, that is something huge that I'll take away from this whole experience that you know, I'm really glad I had this, this time to work on that for myself and with a group of other people who really cared and just foster that through and through. Um, I think the best piece of advice that I've received is really trust yourself. I feel like a lot of genetic counselors or people who are prospective genetic counselors are pretty tough on themselves. <laughs> There's a joke that everyone's type A, um, but yet you learn to, to be critical of yourself, but at the same time, I think the best piece of advice is that trust what you're saying, trust what you know, um, and trust the skills that you've gained throughout your program and be able to be confident with those skills. My class is actually the first class of 10, I, and I couldn't imagine anybody else being in my class. They're my classmate, but they're also friends, um, we have developed relationship that I think will last for a long time. I think the best part of graduate school is just being able to, to do something very difficult and very accomplishing with a very small group of people I think is very uniting and I think we'll all share a very good bond uh, for a very long time, the ten of us. Um, and I think it's a really good sense of accomplishment for yourself as well. Um, it's really rewarding to, to go through something and really feel like you built something for your, for your own good and really put your health, yourself ahead of a lot of people too.